and with surface preparation key to rendering, a pressure wash to remove slurry and bond inhibitors, plus a good scuff of the polystyrene, will mean we ensure a strong rendering bond. As with any concrete pool construction, the next step to the process is the rendering, which is designed to provide the substrate or foundations to the tiling stage. A fluorescent orange mesh is next cut and prepped, which is embedded into the render for extra strength, while a liquid rubber latex additive provides flexibility and hardness to our ATA specialist pool render. As the render flows, fast hands and a good technique start the process to get in perfectly smooth and level surfaces for the tiling phase. As the owner, inventor and visionary behind Australasian tile adhesives, Graham has spent two decades perfecting the formulas and recipes for heavy duty commercial grade and domestic use building and tiling adhesives and renders. This is your warehouse here as well. This is where we keep all the finished goods prior to shipping them out. It's from this facility where Graham started ATA from ground zero to now where he produces 50 tonnes of product every single day, equating to an incredible 35,000 square metres of ATA product installed each and every week right around Australia. And, and, and tilers, I think, are mainly your customer, aren't they? Tilers are, tilers are the end user and they are our customer in the end. Used by the building experts and professional tilers, it's each of these colour-coded bags that correspond to each of his different formulas. All made right here on the outskirts of Melbourne. And, and this is all made locally, this is all Australian made and produced product? All Australian made, Australian bags, Australian made product, yeah. And, and your formulas too, I think, isn't it? Yes, yeah. these are all to our formulations. Ma yeah. ma made yep. over here? Made in the factory, yeah. This is where they're made. It's these coloured bags that contain the different additives, fillers and polymers that have each been designed by Graham over the course of the last 20 years. And each are specifically formulated for challenges and applications in the Australian market. So, you know, we have a, a wide range of temperatures in Australia and uh, varying weather conditions and varying substrates. So in general, our materials need to be a little bit more flexible than some of the materials from overseas. The most important of those building challenges in our case being our new swimming pool. Now, when it comes to building any pool, the most important part is that it can actually hold the water in. So using a specialist pool waterproofing membrane is a pretty obvious choice. This fluorescent orange ATA primer is the foundation coat, helping to form the base to the upper two layers to come. Next, this ATA waterproof membrane is painted on three layers thick. It's these olive coloured coats that are the critical point to building any pool, because they are quite literally the only thing keeping the water inside. In this case, it was our personal preference to leave waterproofing the floor until last, which would help us prevent damage to this critical membrane during the tiling phase. And in saying that, choosing these tiles would be the next item on our pool construction agenda. For more information about this series, visit www.topproperty.tv.